Congratulations, you're about to take your first Gmail self-assessment. On the left-hand side, you'll notice that you can go ahead and fill out the form with your name. Make sure that you fill out the email address uh, accordingly. And then on the right-hand side, you'll have access to all the resources that the self-assessment will quiz you on. Uh, we want you to score 100% and we uh, suggest you take advantage of these resources. The second thing that you're going to want to have open at the same time is your Blake Gmail account. So go ahead and uh, log in and select the Gmail account. And you'll want to have both windows side by side so that you'll be able to do the five activities uh, during the course of the assessment. One thing to keep in mind is that you want to sit down and finish the assessment in one sitting, not close your computer, not put it to sleep. When you're ready to get started and you filled out the first part, go ahead and click continue and then start answering the questions. If you know where you can find and use an inbox label, go ahead and click yes. Find and use a starred label, yes. But if you're having trouble remembering where sent mail is, you can go ahead and click no. Or if you look on the right hand side, there are uh, corresponding resources to help you answer that question. So I want to find out more about how to find and use sent mail. Select the link, and in this case, I would watch an overview video about Gmail. Continue on uh, the uh, course of the assessment by answering all the questions, including where is trash, uh, how, what is all e uh, mail, and how to search. If I'm not sure how to use a search tool, and I want to answer it uh, honestly, and I don't want to find the resource, so I can go ahead and click no, and continue on. Uh, the assessment will go through these various uh, sections, and um, periodically there will be an activity, such as emailing uh, Workshop Week. And that's all there is to it. Once you've uh, completed the assessment, uh, you'll go ahead and uh, finally you'll see a submit button. When you submit it, every two to three days we'll respond uh, with a uh, overview of your score. This score will uh, be used to determine whether you'll be placed in a novice or intermediate workshop. But again, we suggest that you should feel free to retake the assessment as many times as you want. We want you to do well. Good luck.